Hi, this is Jimmy Abaddon, and welcome to my Mass Effect controller support how to troubleshoot and fix your fucking game guide. <laughs> oh, fuck me, dude. This is a supplementary video for those who are struggling to install and get this controller support mod working for all three Mass Effect games. If you haven't installed the mods yet, then you probably should do that first. Since a lot of people are having problems installing the mod for the first game, I'm going to use the first game as the example. With that being said, let's get started. Let's say after attempting to install the mod, you launch the game, and you end up in this screen, where it says press any key, and your controller does not respond. Well, here's a solution for that. On the top right corner of my screen, I have a zip file for Mass Effect 1 controller support mod. Again, make sure you choose the correct mod zip file for the game that you want to mod. Right click this zip file. Go to extract here. Once the zip file has been fully extracted, you should have this folder. Right click this folder. Now scroll down to where it says properties. Click on properties. Make sure you click on read only. Once you do that, click on apply. Once you click on apply, you'll get a pop-up that says, you have chosen to make the following attributes changes. Set read only. Make sure you choose apply changes to this folder, subfolders, and all files. Make sure this is checked, then hit OK. Once you hit OK, you can now hit OK again. That's it. You're done. You can now go back and watch my Mass Effect controller support mod videos and start modding. And this time, you'll be able to play the game with full controller support. Let's say that you've successfully installed the mod, but this time you can't get past the start button menu. Well, don't worry, because there's a solution for that too, especially if you're using the Steam version. Go to your start menu and open up Steam. What you want to do next is enter Steam Big Picture mode on the top right corner of your screen. Once you've opened Steam Big Picture mode, go to library, look for the game, and then select it. Now, I don't actually have the game, I have the origin version, but I am using a shortcut to Steam so you can see how it's done when you have the game. Go to Manage, go to Controller Configuration, push A. Now that we're here, you should be able to tell what the problem is. Look at this, YXBA, look at that. Y is the F key on the keyboard, X is, I don't know what it is, B is the Q key, A is the E key. This is the problem. As you can see, Steam is automatically probably have chosen the best keyboard configuration for your controller. But the problem is, this mod does not support keyboard and mouse gameplay. You can't use keyboard and mouse to play this game once this mod is installed. So, we have to tell Steam to not keybind keyboard and mouse input into this gamepad. So, to fix this, simply hit the X button on your controller where it says Browse Config. Now go to where it says Templates, and now go to where it says Gamepad, and push A. Here's a preview. We want to apply this configuration, so hit X to apply configuration on your controller. Now take a look. The Y button is the Y button. The X button is the X button. The B button is the B button. A button is the A button. Everything is good now. Everything is perfect. Now that we fixed this, we can go back by pushing the B button. And you can go ahead and launch the game. You can either launch the game on Steam Big Picture mode, and if that doesn't work, you can exit Big Picture mode and launch the game in the regular UI. Let's say you launch the game again, and you're still stuck in the press start menu. If that happens, then it's probably because you have more than one controller plugged into your PC. Now let's say, honest to god, you really don't have any other controllers plugged in. You know for a fact that there's only one. Don't worry, there's a fix for it. Go back to Steam Big Picture mode. By the way, this also works with Origin.
Now, go to the, the settings icon on the top right. Go to controller settings. Wow, what do you know? There is another controller. What is this? It's V Multia HID. Your mod is using virtual controller as your primary controller. Obviously, it's not a physical controller. It's freaking virtual. You don't have like physical access to it. So we need to disable that shit. Exit Steam Big Picture mode. Go ahead and hit the start button and type device manager. Go ahead and click on device manager. Once you open device manager, simply click on where it says human interface devices. Click on the little icon next to it on the, the little box icon and it'll do like a drop down thing. You can see all the hid controls and all that crap. And what you want to do is you want to disable the correct hid compliant game controller. There's like three for me and I don't know. You might have to figure out which one is which for you. But most likely it might be the top first one. So right click it. The hid compliant game controller. Disable that shit. It's going to ask you, disabling this device causes it. I don't give a shit. Yes. Once you see the little icon with the little arrow down, it means that the shit is disabled. Great. Let's go ahead and launch Steam Big Picture again. All right. Let's go ahead into the settings. And we're going to go to controller settings. Hey! That piece of shit is gone! Finally! It's only detecting my Xbox One controller. That's awesome! Now I can exit Big Picture or I can launch the game in Big Picture mode and everything is going to be okay. Hope you enjoyed my tutorial. It was a pain in the ass to make. If you have any questions, leave me a comment or message me on Discord. Have fun!